Hey everyone, let's take a closer look at the muscles of the pigeon. So the largest muscle on the pigeon's body is the pectoralis. And if you look underneath it, the supracoracoideus is right here. Supracoracoideus is responsible for the upstroke when the pigeon lifts its wings. And the pectoralis is responsible for that powerful downstroke. The muscles of the arm. You can see some similarities between the rabbits that you have already dissected. We have our biceps brachii and our triceps brachii. One head you can see from the medial side. This triangle of tissue is the patagium, that front edge of the wing. And there's a patagial tendon and a biceps slip here. Moving from this anterior to posterior, we have the extensor metacarpi radialis. Then we have some strong pronators here. We have a two-part pronator superficialis and pronator profundus. The profundus in this particular bird is that sort of brownish color. It may not look that way in yours, but this layered profundus muscle. Then we have flexor digitorum profundus. The surface is covered by a tendon. You can leave that in place, kind of like a tendinous sheath. And if you push it to one side, you can see our flexor digitorum superficialis. And then on the very bottom, flexor carpi ulnaris. This one is truly carpi ulnaris because it goes to one of the carpal bones, the ulnare, um, whereas the other the extensors and the flexors that go to the metacarpals are metacarpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris. This is the one exception to that. There is a short muscle coming up over the little thumb of the bird, the abductor pollicis. And imagine it abducting that thumb, bringing it away from the midline of the bird. So look for that tendon that's going across the top and the little, little section of muscle that's coming down from that. So pollux, abductor pollicis, that's pulling the thumb away from the midline of the hand. On the dorsal side of that wing, we have a large shoulder-ish looking muscle. This is the tensor patagii, and it's a tensor, tensor patagii group. You can see a couple of parts there. The humero triceps. In this bird, it's kind of the skinny, there's a little bit of a color differentiation, but humero triceps and scapulo triceps. Those are the other two heads of the triceps. Um, this triceps brachii, they just have specialized names. And that's again convention in ornithological anatomy. So we'll stick with what, what bird people like. <laughs> On the antebrachium, the very top, we have our extensor metacarpi radialis. This next muscle, we have our extensor pollicis longus. So it's another muscle going to the thumb and extending it. So remember, abduction is the physical process of bringing the thumb away from the midline. Extending is what you do with the actual digit. And with birds, we have these two larger muscles that are easily identifiable. Then we have our extensor digitorum communis, this group here. And lastly, laying along the surface, you can actually see our ulna right here. Laying along the surface of the ulna is our extensor metacarpi ulnaris. We have our iliotibialis cranialis. So it's going from the ilium, the ilium part of that sensacrum uh, down to the tibiotarsis. Then this larger complex here that is our iliotibialis lateralis. And it's this whole section here. It may feel like it divides into two, um, but it's this whole big triangular muscle. Posterior to that, a little bit underneath, we have our iliofibularis, and that's going to the fibula. And on the very back edge of the leg, 
we have our flexor cruris lateralis. So if you're thinking about flexing, it's flexing. Crura means knee, the knee flexor. On the lower part of the leg, we have the gastronemius lateralis. And then the flexor perforans digiti group are this whole cluster of tendons that go to flex the, uh, the digits. <laughs> flexor perforans digiti whole group of tendons, you can trace it up to their heads on the lateral side of that tibiotarsus. Then we have our tibialis anterior, right here. Tibialis anterior, make sure you're looking at the anterior part of the tibia and follow the tendon that tibialis anterior tendon goes down, right down the front. On the inside part of the thigh, we have our iliotibialis cranialis, and then our femorotibialis, right here. The adductor group, and then our flexor cruris medialis. You can see a little bit better from the medial side, which makes sense. And our gastronemius medialis. And then on the lower shank, the gastronemius medialis stretches further up towards the front of the leg. So it's a very large flat head of the gastronemius. We still have our tibialis anterior and behind, uh, closer to the tibia, we have our extensor digitorum. And that is your pigeon.